everyone thanks for watching so I actually have some makeup by Mario's products that I will be using for the first time on camera so I have his matte eyeshadow palette that I did this kind of like smoky eye look with and I also have his uh, bronzer in the shade deep and then a cream blush stick and a cream contour stick so uh, if you want to know what my first impressions are or how I got this look then please keep watching okay so let's just go right into the palette look how pretty that is super buttery I love this shade okay so I'm gonna show you how I did this eye so first up I'm taking this is the matte 12 and using a little tip I learned from Carly Bible I'm just gonna go bring it in and bring it down I'm going to go in with this shade right here and go just above that just to soften it a little and then right above that I'm going to take this shade and go over the brow bone. Next, I'm taking this really like light color matte and going over the eyelids because I like for my eyes to pop. Sometimes I just take a look, my finger and just give it a little extra color payoff using the uh, Kat Von D liquid liner Last but not least, I am taking this black shade. I'm going to go ahead and go right over that liner just to smoke it out a bit. So it can look nice and smoky. Mm. Okay, so next I'm going to do face. For foundation, I'm using Born This Way and I use two different shades. Um, I used to only use this one. I think during the summertime I get darker and then <clears throat> during the wintertime I can get a little lighter. So I mix the two and they're perfect for me. Alright, so I'm going to go into the Soft Scope Shaping Stick in Dark. Uh, now, I'm going to be honest, I have never been a fan of a cream contour. Uh, but I am, however, excited that if I'm going to be trying it, I'm going to be using Mario's products because we know this is his, this is his ish, okay? Uh, I want to show you guys the color payoff. I swatched this and it is actually the most beautiful contour color that I've seen. Can you guys see that? Like it's not chalk, chalky or gray looking. It's real creamy and bronzy. You guys see that? 
Mm. And I think you go right under the cheekbones and the jaw, oh, right under the jawline. See? Can you guys see that? Maybe if I swatch it, you guys can. Ooh. Look how chocolatey that is. Okay. So, I'm going to use the other end, which is a brush, to blend that out. And he said that you should be stamping it. I want you guys to be able to see. He said to stamp it in there kind of shape the face okay definitely I think I went a little too high with it Anytime I overdo something, I always just go back in with my foundation brush and just blend it out. I mean, it doesn't look bad, I must say. But uh, next I'm going to go in with the uh, Soft Pop Blush Stick in Soft Coral. Uh, this is the brush. So the end that says by Mario has the brush. Rule of thumb. And it's a really pretty coral color that's me swatching it so you want to stamp that onto the apples of the cheeks mmm that's beautiful can you guys see it stamp it on Like, I love me some blush. I got a little carried away, but don't worry, we're gonna blend it out using the other end. He said to just stipple that. What do you guys think? Okay. Hmm. I'm liking it. I can get a little carried away with blush, but I feel like it fades, so. Mm. Um, I also bought the bronzer in deep. I think I'm going to be more excited about this than I will the actual sculpting stick. Um, so, yeah, let's go in just to see. getting a little carried away but this is for you guys anyways so you can get a look at how the color payoff is so for bronzer I have been using um, the Kim K if you know me you know I'm a fan of her products um, I was using this one and I just want to see how it compares. Oh, very similar. This one is a little bit more chocolatey. Hmm. Okay. But either way, skin looks great. That I will say. Is there such thing as being too bronzed? Maybe. Okay. So I put my lashes on off camera and I didn't even conceal my eyes. So I'm gonna do that now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal the eyes. And this is the KKW Beauty um, Concealer in 14. Oh, 
always take my concealer. Down. I'm gonna have to put a little bit more cream blush on since I did this step backwards. But, um, and I also do Kim K's three step bacon brain. And this is her uh, baking powder in the shade number four. I put some onto the cap, dab my beauty blender in it, and I go right under and put a little more. And I go right under the eyes. Something I like to do is sharpen out my eyeshadow and I take it down the bridge of my nose and bring it right into there mm. see how that just cleaned my face up like just made everything look sculpted I like to take her little brush I think this is for the body but I just like to use it to sweep the excess powder off I can't bake for a long time I have super dry skin so I have to go ahead and get that off and I'm gonna go in with her brightening powder and also in shade 4 and just dab that here and right under the eyes to brighten. I'm gonna go back in with that blush. Add a little more of that corally, pretty corally color. As you can see, I am not a cream contour. I mean cream blush or contour girl but it's still beautiful nonetheless so last but not least I'm going to set my face using the cover effects this is um, the dewy finish I swear by this Have like dry skin so this is like I call it dream in a bottle I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and this is the KKW Beauty uh, nude 3 lip liner and I'm just gonna go in with a really pretty chocolate gloss final thoughts on these products uh, something to leave you guys with so would I buy any of it again um, the eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette I love I have never had a matte eyeshadow palette this creamy and with so little fallout so yes I do love it I do feel like there are similar palettes it reminds me a lot of the um, KKW uh, matte cocoa palette if you want to dupe for it um, much better quality in my opinion and then also the sculpting sticks um, would not repurchase am I glad I purchased it yes only because I don't have any kind of cream contour or sculpting stick uh, just because I've never found anyone with a shade that I actually like on my skin uh, but will I be using it maybe not maybe I don't know 
and then um, also um, the cream blush Eh, you know, I'm I'm still a powder blush girl, but I do like it. I just don't know that I would repurchase it, but I do really love it. And uh, this one I would absolutely purchase again. It's just beautiful. That's all I can say. It's just beautiful. It's just I love like a red undertone bronzer. Um but yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I can do better next time. I could just put this blush on for days, for days. Just cause I love some blush. Just give you guys a last little blush moment. I just want to leave you guys with this this is actually my second real video so this has been a training experience for me I had a lot of fun filming it for you I hope you enjoyed it and just remember it's a beautiful day to be beautiful bye